हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम टू एच रेट आर्टिक इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट एसक्यूएल सिलेक्ट स्टेटमेंट बिफोर दैट लेट्स प्रोसेप सम टर्म्स लाइक डेटाबेस डेटाबेस इज अ स्ट्रक्चर्ड कलेक्शन ऑफ डेटा दैट इज स्टोर्ड एंड मैनेज इलेक्ट्रॉनिकली डेटाबेस आर यूज टू स्टोर ऑर्गेनाइज एंड रिटाइल लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ information efficiently there are some key components of database like data dbms that is database management system schema table and queries now database consists of multiple schemas okay and schemas consist of multiple tables table consist of data which is logically organized in row and column format so we can say something like there is a database which having multiple schema which having multiple tables which having data which is in row and column format okay so we have data in this rows and columns if we want to retrieve this particular data or insert uh, data inside this tables so to do these activities so we can say that this type of interaction we are using sql commands and this sql commands are categorized into dtl that is data definition language dql that is data query language dml that is data manipulation language dcl that is data control language pcl that is transaction control language in future we will check the difference in between these categories currently we will focus only on dql that is select statement why select statement because the main and most commonly dql command is select we use it to get records on specific criteria we can use select query to get records with columns on the basis of required filters orders grouping aggregations or uh, grouping with filters and there are if there are multiple tables then if we want record from all those tables then we can use the joins now how we can write this sql select statement there is a syntax where we can say select column 1 column 2 from table name where condition here select clause is used to specify the columns that you want to retrieve column 1 column 2 these are the columns you want to select from the table from clause specifies the table from which you to retrieve the data table name is the name of table from which retry the data where this clause is optional it is used to filter records to fulfill a specified condition okay now if we want to fetch all the columns in our output in that case we can use select star star that is asterisk represent represents all the columns okay here we have user table having columns id first name last name okay and which is having some records as well if we execute this sql query select star from user as i told earlier star represent all columns so in output we will get all the columns id first name last name okay now 
if you say we don't want all the columns we just need id and first name then how to do so we can use it something like read id first name from user and here we will get only id and first name okay so if we want only some selected columns in our uh, resultant output then we can specify those columns in our select clause and we can get the records with only those selected columns okay now read records with all columns except a set of columns so select star as we discussed earlier star means all the columns so if we mention select star so it means all the columns out of this all the columns if we want to exclude few columns then we can use this except function and in this in this except function we can provide the columns which uh, column names which we don't want okay we are using select star except last name from user so what it is doing it is considering all the columns id first name and last name and then it is excluding this last name so it will fetch only two columns id and first name now you may say that uh, we can write this query something like select id first name from user then also we will get this result right then why uh, and when we supposed to use this uh, except statement so let's take example there are 100 columns in this user table and out of this 100 columns we want 95 columns okay then we need to mention all these 95 column names uh, in this select statement so you can see that how big our sql query would be created so to avoid this what we will do select star accept and in this except we will uh, mention all those five columns which we wanted to exclude and then from user and the query will give the same result one thing you should note this except function is not supported in all the database systems so before using this except statement you have to check whether the respective database system is supporting it or not read top records here select top clause is used to specify number of records to return so if there are thousand rows in this particular user table and out of this thousand rows we just own, uh, we just need only top 10 records in that case we can use select top 10 star from user so star again representing all the columns if we don't want all the columns you can specify the column names which you want in your result set now when we use this select top uh, clause if we have some performance constraint or we don't want all the records we just need top top few records then we can go with this select top clause for example if somebody asks you they want top 10 employees having highest salary so what you will do you will write a query like select top 10 from employee but they want top 10 record on the basis of highest salary so you will you will use order by salary descending so what sql will do behind the scene it will fetch all the records and it will sort those records on the basis of salary and since we have mentioned descending highest salary would be on top and lowest salary employee rows would be at last okay and then it will apply this top 10 function and uh, it will select only top 10 records from the result set and return it to user now select distinct records so what it will do it will retrieve distinct values from the database for provided column so we can provide multiple columns over here as well select distinct statement is used to provide distinct values of the column provided in sql query okay 
so here we have mentioned select distinct first name so what it will do it will identify all the unique values of first name and then it will return the res result so we will get the result like first name where Ganesh and Srikanth so if we have multiple records with first name Ganesh or Srikanth then also we will get only two rows over here because it is considering only distinct values or unique values okay distinct versus group by this is a frequently asked question if we see below queries select distinct first name from user and select first name from user group by first name both the queries are giving same results okay because when we say select distinct first name so it is selecting unique values of first name and returning the result similarly if we go with group by first name so it is creating a group with unique values of first name and in select statement we just need first name column so it is returning result with first name column then what is the difference so definitely there is no any performance difference in both the queries if we check the performance we can see same execution plan would be used for this both the queries so there is no issue from performance side so when to use distinct and when we should go for group by so i would say if we want to do some aggregation or we have some aggregation statement in our select clause then always go for group by if we don't have any aggregation statement in our select clause then don't use group by if we want some unique results then always go for select distinct okay now let's go to do some practical